Hi everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at a brand newly released deck. Actually, it's so new it's not released yet. It will be released next week uh, on June 6, 2023. According to Hay House, this was from their summer uh, box. The uh, It's part of the uh, card deck club and it's uh it's one of three all right and it says here uh brand new release june 6 2023 so according to that we are taking a uh first look very first look at this i just received the summer box today and i did do a shorts on my channel um, for those who haven't seen it it's kind of fun little unboxing um, it's called the Healing Spirits Oracle, a 48 card deck and guidebook by Gordon Smith. Artwork is by Naomi Walker. It's in the uh, typical Hay House two part hard case box. There are thumb hole cutouts on each side. And the back it says whether you're looking for solutions to the deeper mysteries of your life, protection from fears, help with healing or finding your true purpose. The Healing Spirits Oracle is the perfect tool for finding guidance, spiritual awareness, and healing on many levels. Call on the high frequency wisdom of the spirits and open yourself to the incredible and loving world beyond. Gordon Smith is an internationally renowned medium, spiritual teacher, and best-selling author. So he is, um, and Naomi Walker is an acrylic artist known for her astrally inspired images. Her 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 images are really pretty. These are a few pictures of the cards. I have not heard of Gordon Smith, or if I have, I have forgotten. Uh, but apparently, he is uh, well known in the UK. He's a medium. So inside the box cover, we have to all who use these cards, reach out with your heart and mind to the highest and best in the spirit world. Ask them to bless and give healing to all readings you give and yourself and others on the path. Very beautiful green. Does come with the standard Hay House guidebook. And here's a picture of Gordon Smith. And we'll take a look more at the guidebook after we look at the cards. I did do a quick skim through it really quick. And they have really, really nice uh, energy to the deck. And the artwork is beautiful. Very pretty green. Nice healing green heart chakra color. All right. So let's take a look at the cards. So here are the backs. Standard uh, Hay House oracle cards but if you're not familiar with hay house oracle cards comparing it to a plaid back traditional plaid back tarot card they are a little taller and wider all right so taller taller and wider and then comparing it to one of their older or angel cards Yep, it's the same. It's just this is rounded corners and this is pointed corners. So it's stuck out a little bit. All right. So, uh, and of course, it's not, uh, it's not reversible because of the caduces here. And it is matte. And this is a nice buttery matte. Not, uh, not very, very buttery, but it is on the buttery side. It is not gilded, so no gilding. Uh, Car stock is medium. It's actually good, a big improvement, because, you know, in, in these past few years, Hay House cardstock has gotten thinner. Well, this one seems back to normal. You can hear it, okay, uh, cricking or whatever, cardboard inside. All right, so let's zoom in nice and tight, and we'll take a look. As you can see, um, it is borderless, and they are numbered, believe it or not, but very tiny at the bottom right hand corner. So this is number one. So you can hardly see it. And then um, there is a phrase. So the first one, it says, the first step is taken. You have asked for help. And the uh, illustrations is beautiful. Naomi did an excellent job. And they all, this deck has really, really nice energy 
So very beautiful. Look at that. That's like a painting in itself. Gorgeous. Endurance is the key to success. Like an or, or, borealis. Is that what you call this? The northern skies. How beautiful. They look more like fairies than angels, but fairies are usually in the forest and not up in the sky. Celestial beings. How beautiful. I love the hues of green and blue, purples and pinks. It's gorgeous. Next, you have the power to make yourself better. You sure do. Look how brilliant that is. Oh my God. Is this consider acrylic art share the gift i said that because that's what i read the naomi's known for her acrylic art if you recall i read that at the back of the box share the gift it is time to move forward so there's this uh extraterrestrial feel in this deck but also very magical mystical so there's a combination of energy here with fairies and celestial and extraterrestrial beings natural healing power look at this wow so there's a lot of fairies energy in here maybe are, is there such a thing as angelic fairies or extraterrestrial fairies they don't feel like the earthy fairies like in that fine horn deck i did that was earthy earth Fairies. This is uh, more celestial, high vibrational. Very interesting. Send out help to others. See, very high vibrational vibe. This is more my type of energy. <laughs> if you watch the uh, the chakra one, where I said, you know, I spend a lot of my time in the upper chakras because I'm always out of my body versus the lower grounding chakra this is more my type of energy you guys high vibrational uh, up, out there heal the past and fix tomorrow wow it's beautiful see they they feel more like fairies than they do angels i'm not familiar with these beings they feel they feel more like fairies but they're not from the earthly realm. Interesting. Heal yourself to heal the world. So this feels a little angelic mixed with extraterrestrial. Be calm and keep going. Spirit healers and helpers are with you. All is well. Lost but never alone. Beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. Your life plan is unfolding as it should. Ask your spirit guide. Oh, this seems extraterrestrial. Be like your spirit guy. I was looking at this thing here. Thought it was a bird, but it's not. I'm not sure. Your spirit guy can lead you, but can't do it for you. Life lessons again. A spiritual hug. Oh, I'm really digging the colors and the art in this. Look at that. It, it Like it glows, man. Look at that. How gorgeous. Now, I do love purples and pinks, so. Oh, my God. This is so awesome. I like this card. Inner space and universal knowledge. One spirit guy, one way. always in motion you came to serve yes we did we sure did happiness is freedom from fear 
Amen to that. You are your purpose. Yeah, you are your purpose. Now this has the angelic energy to it. You are on the right path. Wow, look at all those souls. I wonder, is this part of the 144,000 souls that came? Interesting. Your soul will find those you are meant to experience life with. Wow, this is higher dimensional stuff, man. Success isn't what you have, it's what you do with what you have. Amen to that. Your path may be bumpy, but this will alter soon. Oh my God, look at that. So gorgeous. True love can never really be lost. That's true. Be the best version of yourself and start today. I love all the purple and blue hues. So pretty. When it feels right, do it. So go with your gut, right? If it feels right, do it. Trust in the wise spirits and your prayer will be answered. Don't fear change. Embrace it and grow. Oh, he's down here. I was focused on up here. I didn't notice him at first. Courage arise when you step over fear. It isn't about being right. It's about doing the right thing. To overcome, you first have to climb. Oh my goodness, look at that. It is always okay to ask for guidance when the way is unclear. Listen to the voice within when it persists. If the world around you seems turbulent, stop. You have the ability to affect your own destiny. Universal love is true love, so love all. This is the perfect time. There is so much more to you than you think. Wow, look at that. Speak your truth with passion. The light in you can lead the way. I keep on thinking it's the end, but there's more cards. The light in you can lead the way. Carry the torch for others to see. Wake up the world. Wow. Go within. So this is the last card. So there's 48 total cards because they're numbered. So this is 48. Go within. Here's another look at the back. And let's take a look at the guidebook. A little harder cover, but not hard like textbook hard. Table of contents. Oh, so it's broken down. Healing from spirit healers and helpers. Healing from spirit guides. Healing from spirit sages and masters. Healing from Guardian Spirits. How to use the cards, about the artist, about the author, the author. There's a preface here. For more than 30 years now, I have been passing messages from the spirit world to people all over the globe, and I am still fascinated by the incredible answers that come through to people from many different levels of mind on the other side. Messages of healing and love are the most common and come from people who love who have, who we love, who have crossed over. And I suppose this is what people associate with mediumship. I believe I must have passed 10 years of not hundreds of thousands of loving messages to grieving families and watch the amazing healing that takes place when they realize that their loved one isn't dead, but is still connected to them in the form of a spiritual being. I suppose this is the type of message most people experience when they come onto the spiritual path. It gives us evidence that life continues on a higher plane that sits just above, just beyond our five human senses. All right, I'm not going to read anymore. I was just curious what he had to 
say, all right, I truly hope you find balance and contentment you seek when using this stack, okay? Introduction to working with spirit. Explains that. All right, introduction to the cards. With four sets, 12 cards in each set, it brings 48. So there's four sets, 12 cards in each set, which is a total of 48 messages from different levels of the spirit world. From the healing spirits and helpers who resonate in the atmosphere closest to our world to the high vibrational spirit guardians in the God energy. The messages in the cards will help you understand your true purpose, grow on your spiritual path, and bring knowledge that will allow you to dispel the curse of ignorance from your life and bring you spiritual and physical well-being. These messages come from spirit help healers and helpers whose messages work with the immediate part of your life to help you build and strengthen your energy and to keep it flowing while you develop a better sense of self. Spirit guides who send messages of pos positivity and spiritual lessons which will allow you to move more easily along life's path with the added knowledge that you are never on your own. Spirit sages and masters whose ancient wisdom will allow you to see new possibilities and bring clarity when life seems blocked or chaotic. And finally, guardian spirits whose special messages are aimed at all the levels of life that require their wisdom, direction, and of course tools for healing yourself in any situation that are causing you concern. So those are the four sections I read in the um, or categories I read in the table of contents. So spirit healers and helpers, spirit guides, spirit sages and masters, and then guardian spirit. You can choose cards from the entire deck or from one of the four sets to find the guidance you need and the inspiration and drive to bring out the best in yourself and others on your spiritual path. And then we go into the cards, starting out with spirit healers and helpers. And there's no picture of the cards. There's about a paragraph write up on each card. So let's, for example, read this one. It's time to move forward. When your thoughts have been stuck on the same thing for too long, it is time to move on to other things. No matter how dark and heavy the clouds of emotions that have built up in your mind, remember that a Above them is a light waiting to shine through. It is time to direct your thoughts to the power of the spirit healers and helpers who are ready to help you and ask to be shown a way out of despair. Ask this once a day until you feel the weight and the emotions lifting and the healing light raising your mind to better things again. Truly beautiful spirit healers are as close to you as your own thoughts right now. Wow. So this is more of um, a spiritual guidance deck and a deck that will help you and guide you on your spiritual path more than a divina divination deck is my guess. Although you can use it as a divination deck as far as messages to your client or um, querent, as they call it in tarot, or the person you're reading for in plain layman term, okay? About the artist, so a little bit about Naomi Walker, she's also um, based in UK, all right, about the author, he's a medium, oh, Hailed by the media as Britain's most accurate medium. That's impressive. And with a career spanning over three decades, there's no doubt that Gordon Smith is the real deal. His accuracy as a medium led to him being subjected to several years of testing at Glasgow University by emeritus professor Archie Ray 
head of the Scottish Society of Physical Research, whose findings were published in three scientific journals. Wow. Now he's uh, internationally recognized as one of the world's leading psychic medium. Gordon has 23 books published to date, translated into more than 20 languages. Oh, very interesting. Although I'm not familiar with him, but now I am. I do like this deck of his. I like the energy. I like the art that Naomi did. So if you're like me and you haven't heard of Gordon Smith or not too familiar with him, now we know a little bit more about him. He is a well-known, accurate medium in the UK. All right. Put some cards here. I guess I usually do it like this. So, as usual, if you are interested in the deck, I will put the link in the description underneath the video. Uh, you may probably have to pre order it. I don't know if it's available yet, but according to that sheet I read, it says June 6th. So, it's just about a week. All right, so I hope you enjoy that. I really like this deck. I think I uh, I will enjoy working with it, and I'm looking forward to working with it. But anyway, uh, the link will be underneath the video for those interested. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.